Hey, welcome back everyone. Today's tutorial I'm really excited about because we're going to learn how to do Aloy's hair from Horizon Zero Dawn. This is one of those video games where the gameplay is really in-depth and exciting, but the story too is also just beautiful and really engaging. Part of that is because the main character Aloy is so awesome, and not just because she's a redhead. We can't all be machine killing warriors, but at least we can look as awesome as Aloy, so keep watching. Before we begin, I want to say really quickly that I have a Patreon page to help support this channel. So if you really enjoy these videos, please consider supporting Siva Plate's hairstyling on Patreon. I'll give more info about that at the end of the video. Alright, now to start styling, we're going to have to prep our hair a bit for Aloy's look. Video game styles are a bit different from live action styles because they don't really have to obey gravity or realities about how much hair one can have. So Aloy has really, really thick hair, more than just about any real person would. Her twists really depend on that thickness, so in order to get closer to Aloy's hair, I'm going to crimp my own. Crimping makes your hair much thicker because the strands can no longer lay completely flat against each other. With my crimping iron all warmed up, I'm going to spray my hair with some heat protectant, and then crimp one inch sections of hair at a time. Start as near to the scalp as you can so you can get good lift at the roots. To crimp the hair, just press the iron onto the hair section for a second or two, slide it down the hair a little more, and press, and keep doing that down the length of the hair. I actually stopped crimping a few inches above the ends for a couple of reasons. One is the volume in Aloy style matters most near the roots, and not so much in the length so there's no need to spend the time crimping all of your hair. And two, even with heat protectant, heat styling will incrementally damage your hair, so if you don't need to do it on the ends, which are more fragile to begin with, then you can keep them healthier. Now that I've crimped all my hair, you can hopefully notice that it's much thicker. It certainly will feel thicker. So let's get styling now. Let's start with a twist at the top of the head. Section off some hair at the center third of your forehead, running straight back to your crown. Spray this with some texture spray, which will give it even more volume and help the twist hold itself as twists are prone to loosening. Then starting with just a little bit of this hair along your front hairline, start twisting it tightly. Add in more hair as you move backwards and form up the twist over the top of your head. Once you've reached your crown and all the hair from the section has been added in, gently tug on sections of the twist to fluff it out and make it even bigger. We want all the volume we can get here. If you still can't get the height you want, you can easily hide clip-in extensions in these twists as well. When you're satisfied with how thick the twist is, tie it off with a small clear hair tie at your crown. Then we make some more twists. On one side of that center twist, grab another section running front to back that is again the same width as one third of your forehead. Use the same process to style this twist by spraying it with texture spray, then twisting front to back adding in hair as you go. Just make sure you're twisting this one towards the top of your head. Fluff this twist as well and then clip the hair to the little ponytail in the back for now. Make a third twist on the other side of the center one. This one should be twisted towards the top of your head as well. When that one is finished, unclip the twist on the other side. Cross these tails over the top of the elastic holding the small ponytail and then tie them together with another small elastic underneath that center ponytail. Oh, and a pro tip for when you're eventually taking this out, all the texture will make it very difficult to slide these elastics out at the end without ripping out a lot of hair. So make sure you're using elastics you don't really care about, so you can use little scissors and snip them out without pulling out hair. So that's that with the top of the head. Next we need to work on the twists and braids on each side. Draw a part halfway up one side of your head, running front to back. Pick up the hair above this part, and again texture spray it. Start another twist with this hair, but stop when you're only halfway to the back of your head. At this point, this twist will now become one strand of a braid. Pick up new hair above the part for the other two strands, and make a Dutch braid. Aim this Dutch braid at the elastic of the ponytail at the back of your head adding in new hair as you go, like normally with a Dutch braid. When you reach there, stop adding in new hair and finish the braid to the ends. Repeat on the other side of your head. Make a part halfway up the side and start twisting the hair above this part. When you're halfway to the back of your head, pick up two new sections of hair and Dutch braid the rest of the way to the back. Then finish the braid to the ends. There's one more set of twists to make now. 
With most of the hair remaining on one side of your head, form a twist towards the top of your head. Leave just a little bit of hair hanging free above your ears. Do this on both sides of your head, and then tie these twists together at the back of your head underneath the ponytail. Then with that little bit of hair you left above your ear, make a small Dutch lace braid. Once you reach past your ear, quit adding in new hair and finish the braid to the ends. Repeat on the other side of your head as well with the remaining hair above your ear. Finally, there are a couple more braids starting at the back of the head. So pick up some hair from underneath the ponytail and make two regular braids so that one falls over each shoulder when you're done. For a last and optional step, you can add beads to the ends of your braids like Ayla has, if you so choose. Those would be chunky blue and red beads on the larger braids. After all that, you finally have Aloy's Horizon Zero Dawn hairstyle. I hope you liked the look and found this video helpful. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please consider supporting my channel Sivu Plates Hairstyling over on Patreon.com, which is a sort of patron of the art service for the new age. Basically, you can give small recurring donations to your favorite artists, and in return you'll get extra perks like early access to videos, ability to make requests, and some styling and accessorizing goodies sent to you. Just click this link to go to my Patreon page. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.